What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. It is your homie, you already know. I'm excited right now just to be able to vlog again. It's been busy, a lot of crazy things going on. And guys, I hope the quality is coming out really good because I don't have any of my regular cameras on me. I've got just my cell phone, but my cell phone's got 4K capability. So hopefully, number one, the video comes out all right. Number two, the audio comes out all right. Maybe the other way around, it's the audio. The audio is on point. Then the video, if it's, eh, you know, it'll be okay. But look, 4K, so hopefully it's okay. Um, it's getting a little bit dark where I'm sitting right now. So hopefully, also, I guess, low light. Hopefully that's all right. But we'll see how we go. Anyways, let's get into a little bit of information that I want to give you guys really quick. Um, I am going to be touring soon, guys. I'm going to be coming around. I'm going to be achieving a few different things on my tour. I'm going to be touring my music and things like that. So putting on some shows, doing music things. I'm going to also be putting on some of my seminars and workshops, my ultimate you. If you guys don't remember, you don't know you're new and you don't know, I'm also in addition to all the million things I do with music and producing and all that kind of stuff, you know, my rap, my blah, 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 long list, look on the description for more info. But uh, I'm also a certified hypnotherapist, personal development coach, holistic practitioner. So I like to go around and, you know, help assist people on their journey and to, you know, help them reach their full potential, all that positive stuff you already know. So I'm going to put in my ultimate use seminar. I'm going to be bringing that around. I'm also going to be putting on some music industry specific seminars. So for people who are new and upcoming artists and things like that, you know, we're going to talk about the music industry, where it's come from, where it is now and where it's going to go and stuff like that. So make sure you just are locked into my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribe, so you don't miss out on the info, info coming, lots of info, dates coming, all that's happening. Uh, also, uh, follow me on IG. Make sure you follow me on the IG. I'm going to start using IG a lot more. And don't forget about Facebook. I know a lot of you are like, oh, Facebook is like old school. Nah, man, Facebook is still relevant. So y'all make sure you got me on all the major socials. And, um, you know, that way you don't miss out on the info. But anyways, the point of this vlog is not to talk about that. I want to talk about something that I've seen that just got my mind blown on CNN, man, I was watching CNN, CNN, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 argumentatively, whether or not you believe it's fake news or not fake news. Well, this is something that President Trump actually said, allegedly, uh, allegedly Trump actually, it's not even allegedly, because I actually heard it with my own ears. I actually seen the footage and heard it. And Trump actually said that his dad was from uh, Germany. Now, <laughs> he said it more than once. He said it like three times, like as, as far as there's footage of him saying it like three times out there that his dad is German. Like this dude is saying his dad is German, but guess what? They have actual documentation. They're showing his dad's birth certificates. It says that he was born in freaking New York, man. To be specific, I think the Bronx. So, so like what's going on with Trump, man? Like y'all, y'all, you know, I, I don't want to hate on my president because at the end of the day, he still was voted by the people. He's still our president for better or for worse. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, he is our president. So, you know, I don't want to disrespect him at the end of the day. He, you know, hey, man, it was him or Hillary. What you going to do? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, though, it is a problem when your president is lying about just little stuff like why why does he have to lie about where his dad is from why does he ha why does why do you even want to be like saying that your dad is from germany man are you embarrassed or ashamed to, to be an american that you know because he's he's like not admitting that his dad is american i just don't understand that man like is this blowing anyone else's mind 
I, I don't even know, man. But all I know is this. Like, if you buy into a lot of conspiracy theories and things out there that people are saying, because a lot of people think that Trump just wants to be another Hitler, man, or that he's a bit of a racist or white supremacist at heart or whatever. At the end of the day, I don't know. And I'm not going to, you know, even try to uh, make any assumptions. I like to think that my president was legit and was, you know, full of integrity and wasn't racist and was an honest, reputable person. You know, I, I like to think that. I don't know if it's truth or not, but at the end of the day, all I know is the facts. The facts is, is that our president is saying that his dad is German and his dad is actually American, born in the Bronx. So, yo. What's up? Seriously. So, hey, this is getting serious because it's like 2019. So, but 2020, I think we got elections soon, man. I think the election is just around the corner. And yo, seriously, I, 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 okay, I didn't, be, I couldn't believe when Trump run the first time around because even though I didn't want Hillary to to win either, like I mean, I just, you know, what do you get the best of, you know, what is it called the um the best of two evils or something like that, but. At the end of the day, I thought at least she knows how to play the political game. She's a politician at heart, so she she knows politics. She knows how to play the political game. So that's a tick in her box, you know, like, you know, in some capacity, like from like with things, issues going on around the world, having that political experience and also the positions that she's held, you know, in the past made her a slightly in some ways a better choice. But, you know, even both of them are bad choices, so. You know, but oh, man, like with this election coming around, if Trump wins again, I don't know, man. I'm I've just lost faith in all of my whole freaking fellow Americans. If Trump wins again, if Trump wins again, that means that there is a deeper issue going on, man. Like seriously, I don't even have no words, but I'm pretty sure there's no way that he's going to win again. The people that even supported him the first time around, surely by now. They're starting to see that this guy is not, you know, the person he appeared to be, the savior of saviors to them and all this stuff. But you know what? At the end of the day, hey, it's like the music industry is like freaking entertainment, celebrities, freaking Hollywood. Fans are fans, man. Your supporters are your supporters. For better, for worse, a lot of supporters will still support you. Hey, R. Kelly was freaking performing. He, he, he managed to freaking get a show somewhere and make 20 G's or something. Uh, in the past week or two and people came and still support him he still has fans even though people are saying all this stuff about him um, allegedly uh, you know I don't think it's really allegedly I think it can be proven that he married um, well for starters you know Aliyah she was underage when they married allegedly I'm pretty sure but hey loopholes and legal consent I don't know man who knows I don't even know man I don't even actually really care at the end of the day I'm not worried about it because, you know, I think, hey, man, I think a lot of people have come out now that, you know, people know. So we'll see what happens, you know. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk about that Trump thing. What do you guys think about Trump? Do you think that Trump is losing his mind? Maybe he's going senile. Maybe it's dementia. Uh, maybe it's freaking Alzheimer's. Maybe, maybe it's freaking some. Who knows what it is, man? I don't know. Oh, I mean, he is like, is he like in his late seventies or eighty or ninety? I don't even know how old he is, man. <laughs> like, but you know, all I know is that maybe he's just losing his mind, man. Maybe he's just a liar, a compulsive liar. Allegedly, a lot of people are saying that that's what it is. He's just a compulsive liar, and he's been lying since day one about so many things. And, you know, politicians lie. That's what they do. They they sugarcoat things and try to make things sound a certain way to win your vote and all that kind of stuff. But when you're lying about where your dad is born, man, why? What's the positive? What? Why, man? Why? I just don't get it. I'm ending this video. I, I think it probably got ended by itself because the stupid phone freaking messaged through. And I need to probably turn that off in order to record because it might stop. So this might not be recording right now anyways.